Hollow Knight Silk Song is a newly released 2025 game running on the Unity engine, and these are its minimum system requirements. I know these specs are very low to run the game, but if you have a very low-end PC and still want to play, don't worry. In this video, I'm going to show you how to squeeze the best performance out of Silk Song on any machine, no matter your specs. But before we begin, this video is sponsored by Xmod. If you've played Hollow Knight Silk Song, you know how brutal it can be. One slip up and you're punished. Tough bosses, endless backtracking, and health gone in seconds can make the game feel impossible. That's exactly where I was. Until I found Xmod. Xmod is a completely free tool that supports over 5,000 PC games, from classics to the latest releases, and acts as your all-in-one gaming upgrade, offering cheats, trainers, FPS optimizers, stutter fixes, and mods that make every game smoother and more fun. For this game, I just typed Hollow Knight Silk Song into the app, and instantly I had a full list of trainers at my fingertips, God Mode, Infinite Silk, and much, much more. And the best part? The trainers are updated after every patch, so they never stop working. But Xmod doesn't stop at cheats. It also has a built-in mod hub where you can install tons of mods, use translation features, and explore so much more than you can imagine. It even runs beautifully on the Steam Deck. Watch this. My game is running right now, and I've only enabled two trainers, God Mode and Infinite Silk, but you can also activate them with keyboard hotkeys. Suddenly, every boss feels like a warm-up fight. I'm dashing through arenas, spamming spells nonstop, and my health bar doesn't even flicker. So if you're tired of grinding and want full control over your games, download Xmod today, use my exclusive link in the description and pinned comment to grab it. With Xmod, you're not just playing Hollow Knight Silk Song, you're rewriting the rules of the game itself. Now let's get back to the video. For this test, I'm going to run the game using my integrated graphics. First, I've set the resolution to 1080p and enabled full screen mode with V-Sync disabled. Both particle effects and blur quality are set to the lowest preset, and I've turned off the frame rate cap so FPS won't be limited. With these settings applied, let's check the in-game performance. I have to say the game is already pretty much playable, as it's very well optimized even for low-end machines, so you likely won't experience major FPS issues. However, if you're still getting very low FPS, don't worry. This video is for you. So now let's quit the game and see what we can do to further improve performance. First, download the zip file from the video description, and after downloading Extract It, you might be wondering what this is. Well, it's my custom-made fake FSR mod, built specifically for this game. Essentially, it works similarly to AMD FSR, but in a different way. It lets you dynamically lower the in-game resolution using keyboard hotkeys. The best part? There are no black borders or visual issues while switching, and it works seamlessly, giving you significant FPS boosts. To install it, first copy the Bepinex installer to the game's directory. Once it's copied, open it while your internet connection is active, as it will download the necessary files. Once that's done, go back to the extracted zip folder and copy the fake FSR mod. Into the game's directory, then into the plugins folder. And that's it. Now launch the game and let's test the performance. Now once you're in the game, you can enable the fake FSR mod using your keyboard hotkeys. From F1 to F5, the lower the hotkey number, the lower the in-game resolution, which helps maximize FPS on low-end machines. To explain it clearly, F1 sets the resolution to 250p, F2 to 360p, F3 to 450p, F4 to 540p, and F5 to 720p. The mod works seamlessly, so there are no black borders or visual glitches while switching resolutions, and it gives a significant performance boost. Keep in mind that the FPS may look different on screen while I'm recording, but without screen capture, the difference is very noticeable. Your gameplay will feel much smoother and more responsive. So well guys, that wraps up today's video. If you found this guide helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends who also have low-end machines so they too can enjoy Hollow Knight Silk Song without performance issues. I put a lot of effort into making this tutorial as clear and practical as possible, and your support really helps me keep creating these guides. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video with more tips, 
mods, and performance optimizations for your favorite games. Until then, take care, enjoy the game, and happy gaming!